Hey everybody, welcome back to Lisa. A really weird freaking game where everybody wants our daughter. We have weird people who run us over with a truck. Okay, so last time we came across this weird club. Help! Okay, hi, he wants a hug. Okay. Bobby Diddle. Diddle Diddle. Finally! Oh. Alright, so what was it? Oh gosh, um, sad. sad. Big damage to me. are in disarray. Oh, your poor intestines. Terry, sick drops. I ate. I'm good. All right. Here. What? What's in this? Really nice. If we could find our child. Ow. What is this? You found a secret stash. Ten magazines! What am I gonna do with a magazine? How do I get out of here? Oh. We'll just go. We'll, you will use this. Okay. We'll, we'll just go this way then. Can I get past you? You, you look. Uh, uh, there's money over there. Okay. Money. Where did we go? Where are we? <gasps> there's a man. Sir, how are you? Hi, 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 hi. What are you staring at? You have a weird ponytail. Oh, I can see your nips. Hi. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've gathered a wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many tales. Would you like to hear? Yes, I totally care. Hmm. I wish you were more enthusiastic. Oh, well, I'll tell you anyway. Let's see. Oh, right. It all started with what I like to call the flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on some sweet lemon tea. Oh, what's some sweet lemon tea? I believe it was homemade, but my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe it was from the store in a bottle. You know, like the plastic bottle. Well, hold on now. That would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea, then transfer the contents into a glass. Not really. Why not just drink it from the bottle? I guess maybe so she could put the ice in the glass, but then again, making homemade tea, which is as time consuming, if not more. That's sneaky me. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea from a glass, of course. Oh, when suddenly a great strangeness fills my body, something was wrong. I lived many years, but I've never felt like something like this before. You know what it was? Yep. It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun that stopped rocking. I looked down and I realized this little rock had gotten caught beneath my chair. A rock under my rocking chair. What a day. I decided it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. I slid into my jammies, brushed my teeth, and said my prayers. As I was climbing into bed, I noticed my wife, God rest her soul, brushing her hair in the bathroom. Oh! As I peered across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can I, can't I be married to an attractive woman? What? Is it me? Yes, it is you, because you me. My bank account. I'm a tall guy. I work out for 40 minutes a week. Is that not enough? I'm a neighbor. 
At the time, Tom Fortnite was very short. His wife, Karen Fortnite Plantsburger, Plantsburger, okay? Yeah, one of those women, well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, whereas my wife was a hard four. What's the deal? I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Why is your wife with you? Anyway, my horse of a wife. God rest her soul. Crawled into bed next to me. She decided to leave the bedside light on so she could read a book. This was one of her romance novels again. Give me a break. So if I don't already feel inadequate enough, not only do I have to compete with Tom, you have to deal with these fictional hunks. Aye, aye, aye. At this point, I had already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. Her bedside light was the only mirror. Minor annoyance. I was able to drift off. When I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Look you. Bye. I can tell by the way you're walking away that you don't want to leave. You really want to hear another story, I'll tell you. One upon so okay sometime in july was it july i'm never gonna get out of here my local grocery store smells really good smells smells really good eggs sells really good eggs in july i don't know why do chickens operate better in the heat fireworks maybe i don't know i don't want to set off go off topic but the point is that summer Marvelous, 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 marvelous. Anyway, my wife and I got rest her soul, went to that barbecue that night, and it was held at Dale Spooner's house, well, in his backyard. Honey Spooner doesn't want people in her home. I think she's just an uptight biatch. So at this barbecue, I went none other than that's right, Tom Fortnite. Now, earlier in the day, my wife, God rest her soul, had to make potato salad for the barbecue. Personally, I hate potato salad. What? I'm a mesh. Mashed, mashed kind of got fell. <laughs> so I sat in front of the TV room, avoiding her till the barbecue. Once we were at the party, I made sure to distance myself from my dumb potato biatch wife. God rest her soul. I just didn't want anyone to think that I could associate with someone that would bring a potato salad. Anyway, Tom and his mediocre uh, Tom and his above mediocre wife were already there. And get this, they brought a fruit salad. With whipped cream. The nerve of those fortnights. Needless to say, I have my wife, God rest her soul. A couple of choice words about whipped cream versus potato salad. Son of a bitch. A real tongue lashing. Go away with your fortnight and your potato salad hating mother trucker. Suck. Okay. Who hates potato salad? Potato salad is good. It's delicious. We're gonna take your stuff. What you got? What's in here? No. Nothing. Oh. No? Really? That's disappointing. Okay. Let's go. All that for just bad mouth and about potato salad. What a pokey. Okay. Let's go back the way. Okay. Uh, my God. Why? Oh, hello again. Hi. Funny seeing you here. Wait, are you following me or something? Anyway, I often wonder what, how it all happened here. What's that big flash? Why are we here? Even our night and day cycle is on. Sometimes days last ages and nights come rarely, and these clouds are so strange. What happened to our earth? Oh, well, enough of that boring stuff. I once had a real kooky day at the doctor's office. I was in the waiting room reading a teen magazine. Normally, I don't indulge in adolescence publications, but I couldn't resist. I recently heard the new artist on the radio, Ulysses, Ulysses Utensils. Well, she's some kind of young woman, maybe a boy, I don't know. Either way, that child can really grasp my attention. So I'm reading this magazine because Ulysses on the cover, I wasn't able to identify if it was a man or a woman, but 
As I'm reading, I notice something on the ceiling. I look up and see that there is some water damage. You'd think a doctor would make enough money to maintain his office. I guess he cares about his cool jet skis more than he does his patient's comfort. And his assumably big house and hard body love. My wife was like that. Big ol'. Just then, a droplet of water falls from the ceiling. My eyes tail it all the way down to the ground. I stared at the floor for some time, watching the carpet absorb the water. Suddenly, my attention is caught by some child. Child was glaring directly at me. I saw the devil looking right back at me beneath his eyes. I got nervous and quickly stared directly at my feet as to not aggravate the child. No children, there's some scary ones. And that's when I noticed something. I was wearing two different kinds of socks. Golly, I'm all revved up after these thrilling exchanges. To be fair, you're quite of a bore, but beggars can't be choosers. I think I'll stick around. I've got many stories to tell. Nern Guan joined your party. Great! We have a chatty Kathy. Yay! Okay. Ooh, let's go down this way. Where did go? Maybe he can actually talk people and tell people stories to death or something. This one time my wife made potato salad and I swear to y'all it was so disgusting. Hi. Yo, what's happening my man? You got a couple of mass bags for me? I'll run with your pack, brother. And a gener energetic ex pro wrestler. I don't- ooh. Known for his devastating headbutts, Elbridge was al always puts the battle first and his health second. He has high speed and attack, somewhat low defense. I don't have 70. I'll be waiting, my man. Alright, who are you? Brad, Terry, and Nern. I have a little interest in scandalous magazines. I'm just looking for a stiff drink and good memories. That's all this world has to offer anyone. Wait, how many magazines do I have in the first place? How do we, um, how do we look at our... I don't think I have any magazines. I mean, I think I, I think I only have a few. Okay. We really have to save. I need to find a crow somewhere. So I don't die. I don't want to go back to that conversation with him again. It's annoying. What? You deal with it. Our dad is so mean. Okay. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it here. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye!